Alright guys, if you really like Grand Theft Auto content, I have some bad news for you. Grand Theft Auto content is officially dead. I know, right? It's sad. Now, you could, before you go disliking this video, hear me out. Before you go disliking this video and say, Oh no, Grand Theft Auto content's thriving. Oh no, these channels are still alive. Hear me out. If it's alive, then why are large channels who do this content not getting that many views anymore? If they're getting views in the thousands, which is a clear sign, this content is dead. In the thousands, which is a clear sign, this type of stuff is dead. Now, you can still. Is it completely dead? No. You can still use it in your your game footage things, like your um rant, um gameplay over your commentary or rant. Yeah, that's not dead yet, but um could be someday, but not yet. But it does work. I'm playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City in this footage. As you can see, yep, all of this footage is all mine. This footage, I, well, not really, I would kind of give the credit, the game goes, the credit for the game goes to Rockstar, the credit for the gameplay goes to me, I'm the one who took this footage, and, no, I don't take other people's gameplay footage and put it over my rant commentaries. Okay, a little bit off topic, but, the reason why these channels are dead, there's, alright, this is confusing, there's multiple reasons why this, they're dead. People would say it could be the clickbaiters, the people who lie to their viewers about Grand Theft Auto 6, or just lie about their viewers about Grand Theft Auto 5. They lie about, they lie, they make fake tutorials to get views and money, and I actually feel sad, and I actually really feel bad for the people who click on this content. They're the ones who want to know how to do something. They're gullible. They can't help it. People nowadays are so gullible. Especially kids. They're going to think this is real. And someone is either going to get hurt or going to get killed. Who knows? Sometimes this, con sometimes this fake content is dangerous. I'm not kidding when I say that either. Sometimes this fake content's dangerous. Or... It could just destroy your game, or it be, or it's just outright lie, and it's not funny. People dislike these videos, and the fact is, this content's just dead. I'm sorry, nothing lasts forever. At first, this content was thriving, and it's not just. After, all right, let's go. 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and maybe 2018 is where it's all gonna die completely. That has been, that has been 12 years of relevance. Now, of course, Grand Theft Auto 6 will come out someday, and yeah, it will become relevant again. And yeah, there are some games, and Grand Theft Auto 4, it's not just clickbait YouTubers. It's how old Grand Theft Auto 5 is. Keep in mind, it might not seem that, like that long ago when Grand Theft Auto 5 came out, but this game is a four-year-old game that is old and should be discontinued. And a new game should come out after four years or or, or two years. The game is four years old and should be discontinued, but how somehow? But Rockstar keeps feeding it, and yeah, it gets boring. It's just boring. The reason why it's dead is because the, the game is boring. There's not really much else to explore. All, everything you could think of has already been done by other YouTubers, including not, not limited to the exploring of caves, exploring of glitches, and and more, and even finding the cars, finding Mount Chilean, finding everything. That's all been done by other people. Heck, there's been almost everything you could think of that other people have found. 
There's no more original ideas in Breath of the Wild 5. Now, that's why it's dead. They need to release Grand Theft Auto 6 so it can come relevant again. But there's other games we don't really talk about that much. We do not, we do not really play. There's some games we could probably overlook games that we could go back to play. Like, try playing on YouTube. Like, alright, let's, for example, there's Grand Theft Auto, Vice, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, that one's played still, that one's actually still being played by a ton of people. Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 3, no Grand Theft Auto Vice C, that's still being played, and, but it's not that much. Grand Theft Auto 3, not that much, there's people still reviewing it and stuff, but the Grand Theft Auto 2 and Grand Theft Auto 1, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, no one really does gameplay of those games. And someone should do some gameplay of those games. They, it's a game, people, there's not, there's probably more to explore about these games that hasn't been explored, because these games came out before YouTube even existed. There's more to explore to these games, and even glitches and stuff that you could probably try to explore. There's cheats, there's some things that have already been done, and there's some things that haven't. Be original. It's hard to be original on YouTube nowadays. Now, let's talk about something. So, and YouTube content, why older people will tell you why YouTube content was better back in the day. Even I would say so. He didn't try to lie to you, Fernando. I will hit you, Fernando, Mr. Boss for the winner, Lispy Jimmy, That Saints fan, and much more clickbait Grand Theft Auto YouTubers, and not just those, clickbait YouTubers in general. I'm talking about you, Fernando. Yeah. Fernando's the worst. He's one of the worst. He lies about Grand Theft Auto 6 being out. He makes fake. He even says he owns Grand Theft Auto 6, which he does, and that's a freaking lie. And why are these top channels, why is YouTube letting these channels stay up? Also, why, we've been on the site for years. We do not deserve to watch this type of content. We viewers, subscribe to your channel. And then later on, you just backfire on us. And then you decide to make garbage. If channels start to do that, unsubscribe to them immediately. Do not subscribe to them, leave them alone, and let them die. They they obviously do not care about their viewers that much anymore, and they just decided to just go the way of just being greedy and making money. Alright, I'm gonna make I'm gonna change your mind about watching this content. About watching new YouTube content. Alright, time. Original content was mostly made by hobbyists. Nowadays a lot of content made by people who just do it for money and people can have found illegal lucrative even wrong ways of making money on youtube and it's real sad that this continues we subscribe to your channel we deserve better youtube should give us the ability to report your channel you to report your channel you obviously do not care about us you give a crap about us you you just let your viewers you don't only care about the money, you don't care about your viewers at all. You only care about that sweet ad revenue. What happened? If we YouTube finally decides to crack down on clickbait channels like these, that will be I'll be real happy and then YouTube content may get better because well Well then people would be too scared to clickbait. Then Alright, so if you enforce this rule of not clickbaiting your viewers, people will be scared to do so. They will find other ways they will that are not against the terms of service. They will They'll find other ways. Well people will stop clickbaiting you. They'll stop clickbaiting viewers if YouTube cracks down on this. They'll be too scared to. They're scared they'll get their channel terminated or their video ad revenue removed and that will keep people from lying to their viewers if YouTube finally decides to crack down on this freaking lying that goes on in this community it's not 
It's not cool. It's actually look pretty terrible if you ask me. And so this content is dead. And it probably it will come back someday. Grand Theft Auto 6, who knows if Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out early. This content may we resurrect from the dead and actually become thriving again. But who knows? It might not. Or it might. Or YouTubers will probably have advertised Grand Theft Auto 6 so much that it might not even come back then. You gotta keep that in mind. It's sad, I know, but well, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> but there's still hope, though. I mean, there's still creative YouTubers out there who try their best, and yeah, some of them are still getting views on on their Grand Theft Auto San Andreas content. All right, there's I can't think of all the others. There's a lot of Grand Theft stuff. YouTube P channels, I don't know what they are called though. There's memes that involve the game, which actually gave the view, gave the person who made uploaded on YouTube a ton of views. And there's people who've even done challenges of the Big Smoke Order. Yeah, that's how good the ga games have gotten, but it's dead. I'm sorry, we've done almost everything. Grand Theft Auto content's been copied. There's no more original ideas, there's all of them are gone hard to find original ideas and I guess originality originality is not really going to get you much views on YouTube anyway so you could give a crap if your content's original they only care about that sweet sweet money if YouTube finally decides to stop this stop mistreating their users stop letting these channels stay up and letting us remove or block these channels or even or even blocking these channels or actually YouTube has a system where um, they show how many times this channel has been disliked and it's gonna and then after people see that they won't watch it they will stop watching the content they the content will get buried and well that'll be the end of it in real content Let's hope YouTube finally rises back to quality in Grand Theft Auto tip. Alright, I'm a little bit off topic. We're talking about how Grand Theft Auto content's dead. There's multiple causes. I mean, that's what I said. There's clickbait YouTubers. There's the game is on life support. Getting really old. And there's also... Well... All the original ideas are gone, and there's, there's other reasons too. There might be people don't really like watching this anymore. They're, they don't really want to watch Grand Theft Auto content anymore. It's getting so old and repetitive that they don't want to watch it. Even the normies don't want to. Now, I really hate when channels, I really want you to go back to its days where viewers were not spoon fed content, actual real content, not spoon-fed processed garbage that does not that's not content that's not content that's garbage you think that's content you don't know you you have not been on this site long enough we need to stop we need to start searching for videos instead or heck even there's probably will be other methods to find these videos or even start linking our videos we might need to start linking our videos in the comment section or posting on social media so we can get more views. We deserve it. These idiots who clickbait us don't. They do not deserve those views. They deserve to. The people who scam us actually deserve to be in freaking jail right now for scamming us. They do not deserve to be on YouTube. They deserve to be in jail. Scamming people is illegal and YouTube's not doing anything about it. Now, some of these are just pointless scams that aren't even scams. It's mostly just jokes. But others are scams, outright scams that lie to our viewers. Of course, these channels, most of them started with money glitching, which is illegitimately getting money in Grand Theft Auto Online. And now Rockstar cracks down on it and they will copyright. So, yeah, it's dead. I hope you guys. And keep that in mind, hopefully it comes back, but it might not. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
have a nice day peace oh yeah before we go mass flag all these fake grand theft auto videos now peace